we are live it says so right there yes we're back really quick i know we were just here yesterday and i think the day before too i'm on a roll what can i say but yeah we had to come out because we got base box in and i don't want to just sit on it you know well for one i'd smash it to smithereens but i don't want to just wait you know i mean it came in today we got it we're gonna put it out for you okay so i hope everyone's having a good night i don't know what time it is i know it's after one that's all i know i didn't check the time so you have to fill me in but uh if you guys are awake out there hello if you're sleeping that's normal you should be what's wrong with me nobody knows nobody knows so yeah i'm not sure if anybody's gonna pop in today i have not been throwing this out on a post because it's kind of like just i'm doing it on a whim you know i get out of work i gotta see how i feel do i feel like i'm gonna be able to go on yeah i'll go on so then i do my dog he's so loud like he snores he snores and he farts and he makes all kinds of weird noises that i wish i didn't know dogs did that's what goes on so anyhow, um, hi Nelly, how are you? As always, you are the first one on here. High five to you, girl. High five. I know you're far, far away, but you still get a high five. So we're doing boxy charm tonight. We're doing the base box, Nelly. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. It's not as big as the other one. The size matter. Does it? Sometimes. But yeah, now when it comes to boxy charm, because sometimes really good things are in small packages. Sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, anyhow, guess what happens today, you guys? I got to tell you guys real quick. I got home just a little while ago, right? I walk in the door. I go straight to the kitchen like always because hubby always has me a coffee or a tea or something ready. You know, he's so sweet. He should get husband of the year, but not today. He's not going to get it today. Let me tell you why. I go to the kitchen. I go look for my coffee. Put my things down. My nose, it knows that there's something else besides coffee in the kitchen. Guess what it was? Brownies. He made ooey gooey, fresh and oozing brownies. And when I say ooey gooey oozing, they're those not regular brownies, but they're the fudge brownies with the caramel inside, all swirled around, looking all decadent and whatnot. Why does he do this to me? He promised to have them hidden where I couldn't see them. I saw them immediately. The nose took me right to them. I like floated across the kitchen floor, just floated. And I went and I had to. Man, if I can't stick to this diet, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know Nelly, right? Stinking brownies, man. This is his fault. He, he knew what he was doing. He puts them out right there on the counter so I can see it in all its ooey gooey glory. Why do that to me? I thought we were friends. He's probably watching me right now in the other room. I thought we were friends. That's not love. That's hate. Anyway, I ate too. So they were good. Moving on. Uh, maybe I shouldn't walk to the kitchen anymore when I get off of work. Maybe I should just like put blinders on and just kind of speed by it. You know what I'm saying? The kitchen is no bueno for me. Uh, we got boxy base, so I don't know if you guys have gotten it in yet. I haven't seen many comments down in the section below where the comments go. I haven't seen much from you guys about boxy, but I share all my goodies. Why don't you guys share with me? It's give and take, guys. Give and take. Okay? All right. But we have a card, so we're going to let it go. Maybe this time you guys can let me know what you got, okay? Um, it's, again, cute little theme. We've got our little Valentine's Day theme, and I like it. It's cute, you know? Uh, again, with the crazy numbers... I just, I'm not even going to bother telling you, but these are the variations now. Hi, Angie. How are you? You missed my whole rant about my husband torturing me with brownies. I lost that battle real quick, but it's okay. Uh, so yeah, it's really long variation number, you guys. If you have this number, then we're friends. We have the same number. Um, the There is one, two, three, four, five products in this one today. Yesterday I had six products for the um, premium. So base is like one notch under. Sometimes premium I think has seven. I think there's like times like certain months where we'll have six or seven. Yesterday it had just six. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys out there, because sometimes I forget. I forget. I do. It's okay. It's part of life. Uh, first thing that we see in the box, it's, it's like on top and it's screaming at me. Look at, it's literally screaming. Look how bright blinders this is bright okay so it's a nice pink little brush brush set 
Very plasticky. It almost feels like a toy. Are they giving toys now? It almost feels like it. It's really, really, um, this is really plasticky, you guys. It's almost like, is this real? It says gl Glamir, Glamir, Glam, Glamir. Y'all correct me if, the, if I'm wrong. I can't pronounce nothing, never, never, not. So glam -ire, glam Glamire, whatever. I'm over it. It, I can't get over this packaging. This is opening like, remember way back in school when you had your little pencil pouches? This feels less than that quality, okay? And that, that was pretty bad quality. So, it, woo, it, it smells very doll-like. You know when you get like a Barbie doll? Remember Barbie dolls? That was like the big whoop whoop, you know? I mean, now it's like you have to have a, a walking, moving robot, you know what I'm saying? But Barbie dolls back in the day had this very, um, when they were brand new, like a distinct kind of plasticky Barbie smell. That's what this smells like. I don't think I'm gonna keep this, you guys. It's intensely plasticky. But anywho, let's look at the brushes inside. These are super duper cute, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, they're super cute. How functional are they? We're gonna try to find out. But look at this. Is that not cool? Look at that. Look, it's like a lava lamp. Look, it's like, oh my God. That is so cute. I could do this for at least five minutes, at least. I don't know. Kids these days, I mean, they need so much to entertain them. I don't, I just need this right here. Look, it, it, just, it brings me happiness. Anyhow, they're like little, little specks of, they're little hearts. They're like little hearts in there. Let's just take the plastic off, okay? Let's take the plastic off. You know, just throw everything on the floor. So we'll take all the plastic off, all four of these, and we won't drop them. We're not gonna drop them but super duper cute. So I'm not sure if, if the camera's showing you, but there are little baby hearts in there. No, oh, it's so Valentine's Day-ish. I wonder if everybody got one of these because y'all all deserve them if you have BoxyCharm. And they, they actually feel really soft, you know that? So this is actually pretty, pretty unique. I mean, this is perfect for right under here. This might be my new best friend. You might be, I might make a space for you, but this is really, really cute. It looks just perfect. I'm kind of in awe right now that this little plasticky brush has caught my attention. But anyhow, this one looks good too. Um, it's not as thin as I'd like it to be, but they're super duper soft. So I'm glad that they're that soft. We're gonna try them out. I do have a little bit of eye makeup on already, but I just wanna kind of play with it and just kind of see how it, how it performs. You know, we'll just put a little something on there. We're gonna make do with something, but they do feel soft. So that's always a plus. Do they work? I don't know but I love these shadow brushes like this. These are great for packing product on, and this is a good blending brush right here, okay? But it's not tapered. So you see that it's just kind of a rounded tip. It's not a tapered one. So it'll still get in your crease really good, but it's not gonna be as good, as good as a tapered one, okay? But anyhow, these are really good. I'm actually happy to see that. So I wasn't happy about that plastic. I, I wasn't, we're gonna move past that. Let's see how much it costs, okay? All right. Glamir, Glamire, Glam, I don't know how to pronounce any brands anymore. I, I'm gonna say Glamir, okay? Uh, Pink Lux Glitter Eye Brush Collection, glittery, enchanting, and fun. This set uh, features four essential eye brushes, ultra soft duo synthetic bristles, make blending easy and flawless. I will, I will agree, they are ultra soft, they're pretty soft. And it goes for $29.95. Nelly, you're out there, I know you're watching. Write this down, $29.95. Okay, all right. Uh, next thing we're gonna get out here, let's see what else is screaming at me, is this um, Tula. Now, I love Tula. This is actually a very good, clean skincare brand. It, rec it, it really is, I'm not lying. It's actually a really good uh, skincare brand. But I feel like I'm getting a lot of Tula. I feel like I just got a Tula, the same thing in Ipsy, like last month or the month before. If not, it was BoxyCharm that gave me Tula. Um, I'm not complaining about it that, you know, it's Tula, I mean, it's expensive. But if it's the same product, I don't want the exact same product. I'm trying to open it. So which one is this one? I think this might be the same product. It says, so poreless, deep exfoliating blackhead scrub. I'm gonna have to go check in my um, my little stash, my stash of, you know, skincare products that I can't get to because there's so many sent to you. You can't get to them yet. So I think they may have sent me one of these already, which is a bummer because I want something new. Okay, I want something new. Just saying. Let's open it up. 
They say don't open all your skincare products, but sometimes I just have to, because I have to show you guys. I have to. There we go. I think, I think I got this already. I feel like I did. There it is right there, you guys. It's nice and purpley with little bits of glitter in there to scrub off your face. The whole face is gonna get scrubbed off. But that's what, you know, usually these scrubs do. So it says on there, it's so poreless, like it wants to wipe your, pore, your pores clean off your face. Uh, let's see how it feels. Well, it feels super sticky. Can you guys see that? It's like super sticky. So maybe I didn't get this. Maybe the other thing is something different. Because this feels a little, it's a little gritty. You know, you expect that when they want to clear your pores out. Uh, but it's super duper sticky. Like, wow, what did I do to myself? Can't use this hand anymore now. Okay, um, it's Probiotic Superfoods. And it says, uh, so purifying, so poreless. Powered by pink salt, volcanic sand, and volcanic sand. Wow. Uh, witch Hazel, this deeply exfoliating scrub helps purify pores to minimize the look of blackheads. All right, lactic acid and gentle hibiscus flower polished pores, probiotics, raspberry leaf, and pomegranate reveal smoother and softer skin. Well, okay, that all sounds lovely and wonderful. I hope I don't already have one in my bathroom. That's all I'm gonna say. But Tula is actually an awesome brand, so we're good with that. I'm happy, I'm happy so far, you know, you guys, but this is like really rough. I'm just saying, it's really rough. So be careful. Uh, how much does it cost? Let's see, Miss Tula. Usually they're pretty up there. Uh, $32. So yeah, you know, you save 32 bucks. That's already taken care of the box and even next month's box. I mean, those two things already that I opened that already took care of it. Uh, next thing we have in here, try not to make these videos so long, is, what are you? St. Lux Limited Edition Liner Duo. So there we go with that, you guys. And I believe this is lip liners. I think, I think that's what these are. We're gonna find out together. This is sticky all over me, all over me. Not a good all over me, okay? So I'm just gonna wipe it on my pants. That's where everything goes. Anyhow, St. Lux. Have you guys heard of this brand, St. Lux? I have not. I wanna make sure I hold them properly for you guys. I think that's the right way right there. No, it's not, it's not. Can I ever do anything right? How do you say this? Yeah, no, I think that's right. Is that right? It looks like it. My eyes are playing tricks on me. It's late. What do you expect? But here we go. So we're going to open. Oh, wow. That's... Oh, wow. That's kind of stuck on there. Okay. There we go. So we have two light crown pens. Those are super duper sharp, you guys. Super duper sharp. Uh, let's see what they look like on the hand. Let's try not to use the same spot that we just put the Tula. That would be a mess. So let's see here. We're going to go right here on the bottom. Come on, come on. I don't wanna like poke on it, you know? Don't wanna poke on it. It's it's kind of a little dryish, but it feels like, it feels smoothing, but it feels a little dryish. Let's try this one. This one feels more dryish. So it doesn't feel like it glides on the skin, but it could be because I'm using it on its side, who knows? But that's the colors right there. We will try Hmm. I guess we'll try this darker one on the lip. Yeah, we'll try that one. And that's funny because they're so pointy, you know? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out, Nelly, right now before I forget. Yeah, that's sharp. It's like really sharp. I have like this little pimple right here that's under the skin. Those awful ones that are like under the skin. So it's not showing its ugly face, but it's ruining my lip line, you piece of crap. Damn it. That's right. Ignore it. Just ignore it. So it's gliding a little bit better on the lip than it did on the hand, but it also could be because I have a lipstick on already. Super duper sharp. It's 
So it does draw a very sharp line for you. I mean, it's gonna obviously dull down at some point. It's probably taking a little bit longer because I do have lip product on. I like the color, you know? Thank you, Nelly. It is a nice color. I like to do like the corners, you know? It's really hard to do this live because you can't talk. You can't keep talking while you're doing the lips. And then kind of fill them in a little bit. So overall, the color is good. It went well with the lipstick that I already had on. I had on like a little baby sample. I like little samples. They're free. It was a, a little Dior, um, tiny baby. It's like this big. And I got it from Sephora. When I had a Sephora order, I get these little baby samples. So it was a Dior color. And it was like a very nice nude color. Why am I telling you? You guys saw it. That's what I was wearing. So I do like the color. I think it lines pretty good. Uh, it feels... It feels a little tight while you're putting it on there. You know, like it kind of, kind of skips a little bit. It's not as nice and glidey. Is that a word? It is today. So it's not as nice as glidey like the um, some of the Kylie ones and some of the Pat McGrath ones. Those are very glidey. You know, even the Charlotte Tilbury, even though they're pencils, they kind of just glide on. What's a better word? I don't know. Just bear with me. But it does, it did come out pretty good. So we're okay with that. We're happy with it. It's doing a good job. Put the cap back on before I smash it because I will. I will. So let's see how much that costs. I really want to get rid of this little freaking granito that's right there. Don't look at it. That's it. Just don't look at it. Uh, we have, what is that even called? The St. Lux. It says, this lip liner duo makes lip shopping, shopping, no, shaping, shaping. Okay. I need glasses. Uh, makes lip shaping easier than ever. With a creamy, long-lasting, and hydrating formula, the liner smooths, glides onto the lips, and blends with little to no effort. Achieve a fuller look. Achieve. Not achieve. What, what is it achieve? Who knows? I make shit up as I go. Achieve a fuller look by overlining lips just above the natural lip line to get a plump, kissable look. Okay, well, we tried that out. It kind of skipped a little bit right here. It's a little naked right here. And um, it did smooth out when I kind of held it on its side. As far as it being like super duper soft and smoothing, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's, it's all right. So it says $40. No, I would not pay $40 for two of those. There's no way these are 20 bucks each. There's no way, there's no way. So when BoxyCharm does that to you, I get a little spiteful because I think they're lying. There is no way that those two things are 40 bucks. I, I would, no, no. Moving on, moving on. I don't wanna stay stuck on one thing, okay? Let's move on. So let's see what this is. This is the Brow Bar um, by Rima. So this has been in a lot of boxes lately. So they have been giving different sets of her products. The other set they had give, given out was like, I think a blush and eyeshadow kind of duo from her. Um, <clears throat> is this a her? Rima? I would assume so. Don't assume things nowadays. Just don't. I don't know. But whoever this person is, um, this brow bar product, there's been a couple of them in BoxyCharm. So I've gotten one before and it was like a small little, little, what are these? Eyebrows. It's a small little eyebrow kind of set and it had like your little eyebrow, you know, gel and then it had three little powders. So let's see what this is. Sounds like something's broken. Better not be. You better not be broken. I can't. I can't get it out. You don't. All right. 
So it's in, this is why you can't get it out because it's like so tightly packaged. No one's gonna take it. You don't have to tightly package it. Let it come out. All right. So it has this little button on here. Yeah, so okay. It's almost like a more advanced, hold on, let's hold this to where you can see it properly. It's almost like it's an advanced one from the last one I had got in. So last one I got in only had three shades, right? And they were powders. These look like creams. And it was like half the size of this, you know, kind of like maybe, well, three quarters of the size of this. And it had a little brush and it had a little brow gel in there. Did you guys get that too? You probably did. Because we always get the same stuff, don't we? But this has your little, little tool. So, um... I don't feel like this is skinny enough for what I need it to do. I need to make it more flatter. And how I do that is I get the eye um, eyelash glue and I put the glue on the brush and I just kind of like pinch it and I let it dry like that. And then you have a nice sharp line and you can draw sharp little edges in there. Okay, all right, there you go. More tips for you guys. And this, of course, I'd love to have this side. So I have a little brow gel in there, but hey, let's just comb them up anyway. Just do it, do it for the channel. So we'll just see how this works. It works well, it's a little brush. Can't go wrong, right? You can, you can go wrong. But look, um, oh, hello. It gave you tweezers, so that's different. I didn't get tweezers the last one. And then what is this? Is this a pen? It gave you a little baby pencil, oh my God. It's a little baby pencil, look at that, you guys. Let's see how it looks. Hmm, pretty dark, yep. So it'll actually work for my eyebrows. Hey, take a look at that. Why am I using this? I have a mirror right here. Gee, wawa, something's wrong with me. That'll work, you guys. That's pretty neat. Yep, it's it's filling them in. Not a bad color. Pretty good. Pretty good match. Yeah, all right, okay. So I might actually use this one. The last one, the colors were no one. No, they weren't for me. It was not a universal color, you know, color palette. So this one seems much better. And whenever you feel like you put a little bit too much deep deepness in there, just brush it on out, you know? That's all you gotta do, brush it out. And all is right in the world again. All right, and what's pretty cool about this is it actually has a highlight shade so that's really good for right under the brow bone and these are creams you guys so again well is this a cream no this black one is actually a powder so that one's a powder but these oh i'm a liar again this brown one is a powder it looked like a cream in there but this one for sure okay this one is a cream i know i wasn't crazy so this is a cream color right there so I don't know exactly what this would do these are obviously your obviously your your brow shape but I don't know what this one is so we're gonna find out we're gonna find out together right now let's read about it all right miss Rima we've got our brow brow bar by Rima is the bombshell brow kit is the most luxurious brow kit ever made that's what they said okay a uh, golden goddess of all brow kits, this chic, sleek compact includes tweezers, brow pencil, two-sided spoolie with brush and highlighter, concealer. So this shade, this brownish shade, is a concealer. I guess it, mm, it wouldn't be a concealer for me because it's it's too tan. Um, but anywho, uh, and two shades of brow powder. So I'm not really big on brow powder anyway, but I will use a pencil. So, I mean... I always use like one little thing out of there. Like the other one, I just use a brow gel. That was it. So this one, I'll use like the little comb and I'll use the pencil. Anyhow, she costs, hmm, where are you? $40, again with the $40. Is that worth $40? Probably to people who are like obsessed with their brows. I'm not obsessed with them. I have a lot of brow. There's a lot there. Look, you see, I'm not lying. So I don't really care that much about brow products. I do care about the little gel just to kind of hold them in place because they kind of go like this. You know what I mean? They do. I'm not gonna lie um anyway so 40 bucks i wouldn't personally go buy it but it's a nice little investment um it yeah it's a nice little brow kit for people especially that need brow kits so yeah let's uh find out the last thing in the box 
That is Trustique Eye Something. This is the mascara and eye pencil. It is an eye duo. Good, 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 good. Good vibes mascara and eye pencil. All right, we're gonna open this guy up and I'm gonna tell you guys, this is funny, right? Because I swear, Ipsy and BoxyCharm, they're always at it and they just compete for your attention and they send you the same damn products. They do, they send the same damn products. And I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. So one month I'll get one product in Ipsy, the next month I'll get the same product but maybe a different shade or something else in BoxyCharm. So here is this thing. This thing I purposely ignored, okay? Because, let me show you. But uh yeah, I got the same thing in Ipsy. Now the difference is this is just the the this, okay? The mascara wand thing, I'm a jigger. All right. So this is just that. It didn't have an eyeliner in it. So this one has eyeliner. So BoxyCharm is like, "Hey, I got you Ipsy and I want up to you because I put in an eyeliner." You know? That's what they do to each other. Rivalry. So let's see what color eyeliner this is. It's black. Does it not have a... You don't have a top? Bro. It doesn't have a top, you guys. There is no top in there. There's nothing in there. You see that? It's empty. How did this come with no top? Or is this the top? Am I a stupid? I think I am. So look at this, right? This is like, this is like, this is plastic. <sighs> That's the top. That's the top, people. That's the top. Why did they mess me up like that? That was cruel. Stupid boxy charm. Anyway, that's the top. I thought it was. I thought it was a pencil with with no lid. Anyway, let's see how it looks. Oh wow, that's black like immediately. So I I could barely even push on there. Oh yeah, that's pretty intense really fast. That was funny, Nelly. Don't laugh at me. I didn't know it was the top. So this will be great if it doesn't budge. Because when it starts budging and smearing and like, you know, dripping down underneath where you don't want it to, that's when it gets to be a problem. And then when it kind of like makes its way over here and like bunches up in the corners, no likey. No likey when it does that. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you know, you guys out there when like you put a little bit of liner and you don't even go all the way in, but somehow it finds its way all the way to the inner corners and just bunches up in there. Looks like it's just sitting there nasty like mud. I don't like when it does that. So hopefully this doesn't do that, but this is a really nice deep black. So let's just swatch it for you right here. Look at that. Yeah, baby, that is a deep black. So mama likey. I like when they're nice and deep, deep black color. So we'll put this crazy lid back on and I guess they have it like a point like that. This way, the point doesn't ever get smashed. All right, that was my thought. That's what it's for. Got to make up for the fact that I look like a stupid. Anywho, I'm happy about this. I'm not happy about this next thing that was in the box because I literally ignored this one from Ipsy. I just have it sitting in my drawer for no reason. Taking up space. But here, this thing is supposed to be so weird. It's supposed to be an eyelash curler, right? Right? We're going to get it. Hold on. So yeah, you pull this little piece down, okay? So it's up there like that, right? And like you pull it down, okay? And it, see that? Yeah, it does that. But like your eyelashes don't actually fit in there properly because this is too skinny. So when I tried to use the one that Ipsy sent me, I was like, no, no thank you. Because you can only put a little portion at a time in there. And to me, that's just, that's just dumb. That's it, just dumb. I mean, I can't, I don't want to. I don't want to put just a portion of the lashes in there and crunch them and then try another portion. And to begin with, I don't even curl my lashes, but I wanted to use it because it was sent to me. But no, not, not to put like a quarter and then a quarter and then a quarter. No, no thank you. But anyway, I do actually like this brand, Trusty, because I actually use their bronzer 
That's what I'm using right now. And it blends out beautifully. So I'm not going to totally dog th this brand, okay? But I'm going to dog this. This this thing is, what are you? What are what are you? Why were you made? I'm getting all kinds of mean up in here. But I know that there's a mascara in here somewhere. See, I don't know, you guys. Isn't there a mascara in here? Isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be a mascara. It is. Yeah, see? There it is. It's... I just dropped it pencil the things I swear it's too late man so how do we get it out there we go okay so you twist it mm -hmm. all right there it is yes those ugly little black eye boogers yes Angie thank you for pointing that out but here here is this huge wand so that would fit in there I already have a lot of mascara on but let's just see you know I mean just put some more why not? More is more, right? At least these bristles brush the darn um, lashes. Not like that lash freak. Those plastic bristles on there didn't brush anything. So it's not doing much because I have a lot of mascara on already. But it looks like it could be. It looks like it could be decent. You know, it could be decent. Let me go ahead and pick up what I just dropped. Okay, one second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. I dropped everything. I dropped the card. I dropped the pencil. I dropped my life. I dropped everything. No direction. I have no direction. All right. How do we feel about this? I don't know. I mean, let's see how much it costs. Because basically, I just got like an eyeliner, really. Because I'm not going to use that mascara thing. Uh, Trustique Eye Duo. Good Vibes Mascara. An eye-opening duo for gorgeously, gorgeously defined eyes. Good Vibes Mascara is the first mascara to combine a lash curler and a mascara in one product. Okay. The eye pencil formulated for sensitive eyes features a luxurious versatile gel formula and the pencil glides on like a liquid but provides pencil precision. So it did glide on super duper fast. I do like that. It didn't tug. It didn't hurt. It didn't scratch. None of that stuff. Yeah, it was good. Um, but saying that, you know, the curler and mascara are perfect in one product, let's just be real. It's not perfect. It's too tiny. It's too tiny. No. All right. But... This is bugging me, you guys. This little, it's gonna bug me the whole time. I know I said don't look at it, but I keep looking at it. So if I'm looking at it, then you're looking at it. I don't know, it's driving me crazy. All right, that guy costs, again, $44. A lot of these things today, you guys, are 40, 44, 40, 32, and then 29, you know? So they're, they're kind of up there. They're putting products in there that aren't necessarily something you really want because this right here, we're going to be honest, okay? No likey. Um, that's it for the box, though, you guys. Can't keep your eyes open. All right, Angie. Good night, girl. Thank you for popping in. We're done with the video anyway, so I appreciate you. But, yeah, that was it for Boxy. There's nobody else in there. What I am going to do real quick, just real quick, is try to show you guys if this little, at least if one of these little brushes work. It's so soft. It's really it's like a little bunny cottontail, you know? It's like a little cottontail. Oh, it's so cute. I just like this. All right, get over it. So I'm going to use that palette that we got yesterday. The purple one, the lilac one. Night, Angie. Have a good one. And I'm going to just throw... I'm going to throw this one right here, right in the center, just right there. And then I'm going to use, I guess, this one right here. And just kind of like make a little deeper rim in there. Yeah, we're just going to deepen it up in there. So it's the end of the day, you guys. All the makeup came out to 185. Thank you, Nelly. I appreciate you. So Nelly says that all those products came out to 185. I'm gonna give you a rundown here in a minute. Let me just put this on and see how this looks. But unfortunately, my mascara has really smeared. I mean, I've been having this on for like 12 hours already. You know, you guys. So you know how your mascara, like your lids, hit up here. It's a problem. It really is. It's a problem. But it won't be perfect. We just want to see how these brushes work. Okay, let's just check it out. So here, we're going to right into there, right, right into there, just right in there, get in there, come on, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a cute mirror, I love a mirror, and we're going to just very lightly pop this right in here, and while I'm popping that in there, I'm going to tell you guys a little story about what happened yesterday, so yesterday I go to the post office, right? I had to go mail out a package, obviously, it's the post office. And I get there 
and there's nobody there. And I'm like, great. So this way I won't be waiting in line and I wasn't dressed for the occasion anyway. I really shouldn't have been at the post office because I was wearing pajamas. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to change because it was my day off and I just wanted to enjoy my damn PJs, okay? And I just thought if I can just run in there, mail out this package real quick, there's nobody in here, no one's gonna see me except for the post lady and she's a young girl, she don't care. She probably wears her PJs all day, every day. You know, that's how they are. But I just wanted to run in and out. Well, what happens? Well, of course something happens. I forget what I'm doing in there. I need like an address. I need to like look stuff up. And then I had to look for a package holder. You know, where you gotta stick the, the product in the package and send it off. So while I'm doing all this in the post office, time is going by. And what happened? People start arriving. So yeah, people start arriving and there I am in my damn PJs. And I'm like, here, I could have been in and out if I was prepared. If I was prepared with the darn address and everything on hand, I could have just been in and out. But no, this girl never thinks ahead. Never. So there I am with my PJs. And uh, this one lady, she kind of just laughed at me. She's like, no, oh, sweetie. She's like, my granddaughter wears her, her pajamas everywhere. Don't worry about it. And I was like, well, thank you. Boy, do I feel stupid. I got compared to a granddaughter. I'm 41. Anyway. So yeah, I was like, I was being lazy and I just didn't want to get dressed. And I didn't even want to come to the post office, but I had to do it because it was my day off and I got to mail something. So I come home, right? And I don't feel that bad about myself because people are in their pajamas all the time. And they go to the store in their pajamas and their slippers, everything else. So I come home and I was thinking to myself, you know, if I was rich, I'd go to work in my pajamas. Because if I could, I would. And if I got fired, I wouldn't care because I was rich. So yeah, that was my story from yesterday. So this lavenderish kind of plum kind of purple color, it's going on pretty good. Um, you can't really tell because the color that I have underneath has already wore out its welcome. It's kind of just faded already. But this is actually a nice little purpley color and this is a nice little brush. So yeah, I'm glad that I had this little brush set, even though the packaging that it came in stunk to high heaven. It did. It smelled really bad, like plastic. It's like I had some, you know, Walmart plastic bags just shoved up my nose, right up in there. But I do like this little brush. It's doing a very good job blending out, as you can tell. And we're going to try one more brush out. Do you guys wear your pajamas when you go to the post office? Please tell me you do. So I don't feel like that person. I don't want to be that person. Okay? All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try this one. I'm going to try this one. I was going to try this one, but I think I want to try this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. No, nah, we'll do this one. And I'm going to use the same brush, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spritz it. We're going to make it a little fancy. Fancy schmancy. We're going to get our Urban Decay All Nighter thing. Why does this have two caps? Why? Why? Why do we have... Two caps. It's a little excessive, don't you think? Jeez. Spread, spread, spread. You got you all wet. Mm hmm Yeah, we did. We did that. So now let's just put both caps back on. It's too much, you guys. It's too much. Makeup industry is just too much. So we're just grabbing that little marble shade. The shade that's marble for no reason because it really does nothing. The marble does nothing. And we're going to see how this looks right here. Well, even though I spritzed that brush, you can almost like barely see it on there. The reason I didn't want to use my finger is because I have so much doggone mascara on. I do. It's a lot. I do. Um, I didn't want to like, you know, try to reach up in there and like do some kind of magic trick. You know what I mean? I just wanted to be normal with a the brush. There we go. All right. Much better. Well, I'm liking how this came out. This is pretty neat. I kind of like it. So that's good. They gave me a weird tool with a mascara that I can't use, but they gave me this brush and this was from yesterday's. So we're all right. Yeah, so that whole story really got me thinking like, you know, if I had a lot of money, I could just do so many things. 
like good things. Like I could wear pajamas to work. I could hire a chef so I don't have to cook, you know, stuff like that. I could hire a chef for other people who don't want to cook because I'm nice like that, you know? Spread the wealth. So that actually looks really cute. I do like it. I do. Let's try the other brush. So we're going to try this little brush right here. And we're going to use this highlight right here. It's kind of like a little highlighty color. It's not, but it is. And we're going to pop that right in the inner corner. So I'm just grabbing a little, little, little bit. Just a little bit. That's all. Don't get a whole lot. Just a little bit. Can you see that, you guys? It's pretty nice, you know? It's got like a little iridescence shade to it. It's got a little mystery behind it. I like it. I do, I like it. Okay, all right. So we're gonna try one more brush out just because we can, okay? All right. And I'm gonna get this cute one, the one that I said, oh, I want it because it's so sweet. Look how sweet it is. It's making me melt, so sweet. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to get this shimmer right here and I'm gonna just shove it right under there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just shove it. So we're gonna get right, right here, there we go. And just shove it right under there. Why do I use this? I have a mirror for goodness sake. Get it together, cat, oh, my God. And you see, I knew this would do a great job. It just snuck right up in there and just shoved it in there. I know my terms are so, so professional. Shove, smudge, smear. That's my channel. Can you guys see that little, that little glistening, little glistening shimmer? So this side has none and this side this. So we're gonna go ahead and shove some under here too. Again, looking in here. Why do I do this? It's actually a super cool little brush. It doesn't feel too hard. It's not like hurting, you know? Sometimes you get those little pencil brushes that like hurt your eye. And it's like, you know, you're putting a knife to your eye and just scratching the hell out of it. No, one, no, you don't want those. This is like really nice and it's doing a great job. Good job, okay, all right, we're happy. So the brushes work well, happy with that. This palette isn't so bad, the one that we opened yesterday. I was kind of downing it yesterday because it didn't look so great, but it turned out okay. So we're gonna give you a little rundown. Gotta rehydrate with coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. First thing we had was the Brow Bar by Rima, which is that bombshell brow kit that had a little bit of a cream rib, a little bit of powder. So it's all right. I might use it. I might not. You never know. That's $40. The next thing we had was a Tula Skincare, the So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Cleaner. I think I might have one already, but it's all right because Tula's a great brand, so we'll take it anyway. That was $32. Then we had the Tristique I Duo, which is this guy right here, which I'm not too happy about because I already have one of these. It doesn't work very well, so I don't like it. But the I, what do we call it? What is this? What is it again? The eyeliner, the eyeliner is great. So we're happy with that one. That's $44, $44, I don't think I'd go buy it, but I do like the eyeliner. Uh, next thing we have is the Glamour, 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 whatever. The little brush that I just used. So that worked really well, as you saw, it did a good job, blended everything out great. All the brushes feel nice and soft, so we're happy with that, $29.95. And then the last but not least was the Saint Lux Beauty Limited Edition Liner Duo. That to me does not cost $40 for two of those things, 40 bucks. For two liners that kind of didn't line that great of a job, it kind of just did like, well, you saw me do it. No, I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for it, but it's all right. It's in the box, so we're gonna take it. So Nelly said it came out to $188, which is not bad. Well, it must have been $188.95, because this was $29.95. That's not bad for paying $25 for the box. $200, you know, $200 products, you know, for, for $25. Can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Well, you can but not really, okay? All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Nelly, thank you as always for sticking with me. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, anybody else who watches this later, thank you for coming in. Are you subscribed? If you're not subscribed, why not? I just did purple for you guys. 
that deserves subscription. Just push a little button, okay? All right, I'll wait. Did you do it? I hope you did. Okay, great. So um, bring your friends, share this video, like, give thumbs up. Thumbs up always helps. That's always great. And if you guys want to see something particular, let me know. I wasn't really going to come back on live today because I just did two back to back. I did like Tuesday, Wednesday, and then today. Um, but since I got, I got Box of Charm in, I had to do it. I just had to. Didn't want you guys to wait. So I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, happy, happy Valentine's Day. I probably won't see you again, but I might. You never know. It's me. You just, you just can't tell what I'm going to do. All right, Nelly, you have a great night. Thank you so much. And as I always say, you guys, be kind. It doesn't cost anything. Try not to yell at people for no reason. Try not to break people's windows. Just try not to. Like, you're going to throw a baseball. Watch where you're going with it, okay? Just bird's eye view, okay? Just watch where you're going with it. And just throw it softly. Don't go crazy. We're not in the major leagues, okay? All right. Love you guys. Have a great one. Bye.